This is a walkthrough video of 3671 Egerton. Egerton is located just off Beneva Road. This is actually a great location. Um, wedge right between Beneva Woods and Country Meadows. It's a really nice neighborhood. Uh, Egerton is just a one block circle of, of uh, older houses that haven't been renovated. Some are nice and some are some are rough like this one. This one has an opportunity. Um, the roof actually looks to be in somewhat decent condition. There's some issues in the back that I'll show you, but this, the, it's just a circle that comes back out to Beneva. So we're very close to Clark and Beneva. So it's a great location. Um, not Gulfgate, but I would say even a little superior to Gulfgate. So there's a carport here. Um, the, the, most of the house is on terrazzo, so it's on a slab. This um, is the laundry room here. Has its own little laundry room. This panel definitely will need to be changed out. Old tube and bulb panel, haven't seen one of those in a long time. All the mud daubers uh, and their nests come for free. Uh, you can see there was a leak in here at one point. It is on well and septic. Uh, not sure of the condition of the septic system, however, um, uh, nor am I sure about the, the water system. Uh, there's no central air and there appears to be window ACs, uh, three of them. The exterior is all wood with a few um, indications of some wood rot. Um, the siding on the far side of the house actually, nice nice old siding. What, what happened here, this was a lanai at one point. It was enclosed poorly, if I must say. Um, that's just some galvanized uh, sheet metal that's kind of been bolted, hopefully insulated, but that's probably gonna have to be rectified. The drip edge of the roof looks pretty good all the way around. Um, I suspect that that was the original little house over there and this was added on many years later. Um, the lot is actually very nice. Got some big trees here. Um, nice palm tree. Could use some trimming up, but this backs up onto a little swale. One thing I don't like about houses right here is you do have those big power lines right there. Um, but the house is not directly underneath them. So more evidence of some wood rot up here where the uh, carport roof meets the main roof. And uh, let me go in the front door. A little overhang here. All the windows are old crank out windows. Uh, one of the AC units there, the main AC unit for the living space here, has terrazzo, but it's in... It's in rough condition. I don't know if it can be cleaned up and polished. It would be debatable. You can see one of the AC units there mismatched for the box. Um, so originally, this probably was the original house. This was a lanai, as you can see. Uh, it still has a sliding glass door. This is a pocket door. I believe this goes all the way in, which is nice. So this could be opened up all the way, um, make the space contiguous. Not sure exactly. Maybe just leave them open, maybe even take out the track. Over here is the kitchen. You have this wall, a little pantry space, and a little kitchen. Um, not much to salvage here. Probably tear this all out, put a, put a kitchen in, um, and have it more open with an island here. And some cabinets underneath kind of rearrange the kitchen. So it's a nice space, though. Um, this could be really nice. There's that side door that goes out to the laundry room. Uh, I'll start over here. So I walk through. <clears throat> this bedroom uh, was recently painted actually. It looks like they were in the process of getting this thing cleaned up and um, terrazzo in here is not bad. I'm going to say that this terrazzo possibly could be salvaged. We have a little closet over here. Um, again, broken Jolloey Swinzo's. Jealousy, never could say that word. Um, little hallway, you know, old school linen closet and drawers, which actually kind of nice. Kitchen has, I mean, the bathroom here has tile, but it's pretty yucky. Might be able to be cleaned up and regrouted or even painted. Uh, vanity, toilet, I don't know, probably not worth saving. Ceiling again looks to be in good condition. There was only one spot up here where I saw a problem with the ceiling. We got a little linen closet here. 
I want to say that's cedar line, but it's not. Uh, you can see some serious discoloration in the terrazzo here. I'm not sure what that's resulting from. Um, and I don't know if it can be cleaned up or not. Debatable. Again, window AC, there is no central air in here, so there is no central air system. And I don't know if I would put one in. This is the master, well, it's master bedroom, so it's a master bath. And it's only a half bath, so just enough room for a little sink and a toilet. Not much else. Um, it's, it's an okay size bedroom. You do have a closet here. And um, actually a walk-in closet, we'll call it. Another sliding pocket door that goes out to this um, lanai area. So not sure. It's a step down all the way around, unfortunately. Uh, the terrazzo runs over here. Not sure why there's a bed in the living room, but that's okay. Because over here, I'm stepping down into the lanai and then up again into what is another bedroom. I think this was added on. I can see evidence of recent drywall. Um, it's got closets. This is poured, so it's a slab. So, hmm, a newer window here, window AC. Terrible siding in here. Um, this is just some paneling. And this is not a pocket door. It's been painted. And I don't know exactly what I'd do with this. Um, the ceiling in here is interesting. Not sure what to think of it, but this is the issue that I saw before that had a problem at one time. I don't know if it's still an active leak. Uh, hard to say. So this is, um, I think it's a pretty good opportunity. I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Thanks for watching.